everyone. So today I'm going to show you guys how I use T3's Airbrush Duo. First, I want to thank T3 for sponsoring this video. And I'm going to do a demo on how to use it on my hair. I'm going to do a half and half. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys know I'm a huge fan of T3. I love all their hot tools. They really have great hot tools. Curling irons, blow dryers, flat irons. And now they came out with an air styler. So this is awesome and it just completes my set of T3 tools. So this Airbrush Duo comes with two attachments. It comes with a pad brush for smooth sleek looks and it also comes with a round brush for volume bouncy looks it has a lock button where you guys can detach the brush easily and switch it out for the other brush what I love about this is you guys can use both of them you guys can use them separate interchange them sometimes I like sleek at the bottom and volume up top so I'll use this for the bottom and then use the round brush for body up top or if for the day look you want to do a sleek look and then you want to switch it up and do a bouncy look you guys can go from bouncy to sleek sleek to bouncy so the great thing about this airbrush duo it has five heat settings which is great because a lot of people have different types of texture and you guys can choose the one that's best for you also it has three speed settings so you guys can have it high medium or low and that means with this airbrush duo you guys can have 15 different combinations of speed and heat settings to be able to have it specific for your hair needs we also have this volume boost switch which helps boost volume which you know I'll be using that because I love my volume so I'm gonna do a half and half with T3's airbrush duo I'm gonna show you guys one half with the paddle brush a nice and sleek look and then I'm gonna show you the other half with the round brush which is gonna be have a little bit more body so I always recommend a heat protectant before adding heat to your hair I'm gonna use heritage play it cool heat protectant and this is gonna add protection to my hair my color also I love this because I feel like it hydrates my hair and conditions my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this throughout You guys can air dry your hair or rough dry your hair before using the T3 Airbrush Duo just because with any blow dryer and round brush, I always recommend to not have your hair so wet so you're not doing so much work and you're not putting so much heat on it. For those who have curly, frizzy hair, you guys want, want to start with your hair a little more on the wet side. So yeah, just for the demo, I'm going to start with my hair a little more on the wet side, but that's a little tip for me just because, trust me, the less work, the better. So I'm going to do a half and half using one side using the paddle brush for a sleek look and then one side using the round brush. All right, so I'm going to switch to voiceover because it's hard to talk over the noise of the air dryer. But as you can see here, I'm using the paddle brush attachment and I absolutely love the smooth grip bristles it has. I feel like it gives the perfect amount of tension to smooth out your hair while still making it easy to glide through your hair and have control. As you can see, I like to put the brush underneath my hair with it facing up. I actually see a lot of people using this as a regular brush where they have the brush facing down and on top of the hair. But I feel like when I put the brush underneath my hair, it gives better tension to really help stretch and smooth out my hair. And then once I get it smooth, I go on top of my hair to help smooth out that top frizz. I also like to curve it at the ends because that helps seals my ends. And as you can see, it has those side bristles that allow me to do that. I also love that I can take big sections with this. So I kind of start off with small sections first and then once they're pretty dry, I put them together to make a bigger section and then go over it a few more times. Also, I love that the heat isn't so hot where it's not burning my other hand because I like to use my other hand to guide through the hair. So now I'm just finishing off with my bangs, getting it nice and smooth and a little curve at the end and then adding the finishing touches. You know how sometimes there's some hot tools that make it feel like your hair is more damaged after you use it? So mine's just feels so soft. I don't feel like it was over dried or anything. Now I'm going to use this attachment for this side of my hair. All right, so now we are using the round brush attachment and it's actually so much fun. I actually hate the round brush and blow dryer, but using this was so easy and I was very surprised that it did not tangle my hair. So I thought because I'm doing all these twisty things, twisties as you can see here that my hair will get stuck and tangled it does not so i absolutely recommend this for beginners who feel like they get their hair stuck in a round brush it just glides through the hair and it doesn't get stuck so i'm going to show you in slow motion what i do because i know it could look a little complicated as i'm doing the twisties going down my hair so i first like to smooth out the top and when i get midway i do i twist it take it out from underneath Twist again, take it out from underneath, tug on it, and keep doing that throughout my whole hair. So I smooth out the roots and then start twisting when I get midway. Take it out from underneath, pull down, take it out from underneath, pull down. 
and then it should have a little bit of tension but not where it's getting tangled or anything and I have to say that this tool is super lightweight. I have a lot of blow dry brushes and I want to say that this is the one that is the most lightweight. So you don't have to worry about it being heavy on your hand. And also if you guys feel like it's too hard to do these twisties that I'm doing, just work the end. So you don't need to do the whole twisting thing that I'm doing. You could just glide through your hair, work the ends, curve the ends of your hair and then slide out. And then you'll still be able to have that bounce throughout the ends of your hair and then i'm just going to do my bangs over here the same way i'm doing the rest and i am obsessed with these type of blowouts okay so now i did both sides but i'm going to open this up so it could have more body you guys will see right now i'm going to add some oil to make it super nice and sleek and this one i'm going to add some texture spray to open it up i'm going to add heritage argan oil on this side And then on this side, I'm going to add some texture spray to open it up. So as you can see, you can have two different looks with this tool. Here I have nice and sleek. Here I have like a blowout with movement, more bounce, more body. So I hope you guys like this side-by-side -side comparison. And again, thank you to T3 for sponsoring this video. I love this airbrush. I could take big sections. It doesn't get tangled when I'm doing the round brush thing. The only thing I would say is start with your hair more on the dry side because you will save yourself so much more time instead of having to go over and over and over your hair again. So yeah, I absolutely love this hot tool. I'm going to link everything below. If you guys have any questions, Questions, make sure to comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and add me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time